And the finalists are, for the 2011 Australia's Wine List of the Year Award, Aria Brisbane, Bentley Bar and Restaurant, New South Wales, Glass Brasserie, New South Wales, Hillu at Freshwater, Lake House, Victoria, Rockwell Bar and Grill, Perth, and the Royal Mail Hotel in Victoria. And our winner, without further ado, is Pillu at Freshwater. <laughs> I can't see anything because of very, very bright lights in our uh, in our face. Um, but we have got to the end of a, the Australia's Wine List of the Year awards. I'm stumbling over my words, but um, it's because the excitement is almost crushing us, isn't it? Literally. We we need drinks. Helpable. We need drinks at this point. Uh, Lara from Pillow at Freshwater has taken out not one, not two, not three, but I think four awards. Is that right? I'm not sure. I, I, we lost count I'll somewhere look when I get home. somewhere through um, the ceremony. But the most important one, um, the most important two, really are um, best wine list in Australia 2011 and sommelier of the year. So congratulations, first of all. Thank you very Amazing much. Amazing night for you. Do you yes, even know what to say at this point? No, I don't anymore. I'm, I'm still, I'm still in shock. I really, I don't know what to say. I'm well, this sorry. is the perfect time. I might be able to get to, you to say something crazy and, yeah, and silly. Yeah, very likely. Um, how long have you been at Pillu? Um, I've been there for six years. Oh, okay. No. The restaurant's been open for seven, and I've been there for six. So. Right. So you put in a fair amount of hard work. Yeah, over it's the been years. a long, it's been a long road getting the wine list to where it is now. It's a, it's a family-run restaurant yeah. owned by Italians, and you know it's a small business, so it's not something that you do overnight in a place like that. So. And if you were to describe your list in one sentence to someone? Um, we're very much an Italian restaurant and we specialise in Sardinian wines, but we also focus on New South Wales wines, so I think that's important to say. Okay. Um, because we do like to support local local uh, wineries as well. And is it thick like a biblical tome or um, is it uh, a little more bit. manageable? No, not too, it's not as bad as some of, well, bad. <laughs> It's not as big good. as some lists are, but people do find it quite quite big. And, and I guess the key to that is having good service staff on the floor to to back it up and yep. to make sure that people are feel comfortable with with it. So yeah, big but not massive. And so when I come to Pillow Pillow on um, the Spit Bucket uh, corporate card soon, yes. um, and I need some advice. Uh, can, can any of the staff give it to me? Uh, uh, is there Most a good wine the, culture there? Yeah, there really, there really is. I mean, it's, it's important because I, I have I have a two and a half year old at home, so I don't work full time anymore. Yeah. So it's really important that we have a great wine team. And there are three other staff members there that do wine service when I'm not there or to help me when yeah. I am there. Um, so yeah, when I'm not there, I, I feel really confident that we've got staff there that really know the Sardinian wines really well and the Italian side of the wine list really well. So, And I, I think it's really important that you make the customers feel comfortable with that. And I think that's something that we really aim to do and hopefully we do okay do. and if I was to come in and uh, I didn't know your restaurant very well but I said please suggest a, an amazing dish and one of your favorite wines what could you pull out of your head just on the spot um, oh, I, I, so many it's, it's so many options there so there's lots of different ways I could answer um, we're famous for our suckling pig, but I guess one of my favourite dishes on the menu is a is a whole um, whole baby snapper, which we we um, cook in a vinaccia, which is a Sardinian sherry style of wine, and we finish it with Ooh, butter and green olives sherry. and garlic, and it's a beautiful dish. I love it; it's my favourite. And with one of the sort of richer Sardinian whites, especially something from Capicchiara, one of Sardinia's top white producers, yeah. something with a bit richer, with a little bit of oak, that kind of thing. That's the kind of thing cool. um, that, that sounds I like would a good love. match. I would love to eat, and I quite often recommend it to other people as well but there are many other options it's a great menu so um, and of course the Sardinian wines work really well with our food because our food is very Sardinian so. and if money is no object and you sit down with your list one night and you maybe after you've won a major award and you feel like celebrating what wine do you go for um, gosh uh, Again, it's sort of like asking what, who's your favourite child, you know, like I've got so many favourites. It's, it's tough. Um, but but not guess... all children, you know, <laughs> get everything in life. Um, oh, 
gosh. I mean, I definitely start with either a, um, a great Sardinian sparkling, of which I have a couple, yeah. um, which I think is quite a surprise, and the, or maybe like a French Accorta, that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I would probably then have something like one of the top sort of Sardinian Vermentinos, like a Capacchiaro, or uh, one of my favourites is the Tenuta Olvios Lupus in Fabula, which is a 100% Vermentino no oak. Yeah. Really beautiful. Um, uh, the Montici Barroso is one of Giovanni's favourites, and it's a Cannonel based wine. And um, I actually gave it to a couple of industry people um, just two days ago, and they really loved it. It's um, a really fantastic wine, so I'd probably have that. Cool. Um, well, that sounds like you've got an evening. I, I could, set yeah. Up I could there. sort of go all on that. <laughs> I, there's just so many good options with Sardinian wine, and even, I mean, Italian wine as well. That's great that's, to know, because I have to say, I probably Sardinia. don't know Sardinian wine that well. No, but. <laughs> <laughs> Not many people really specialise in it, so we've kind of got the market cornered, I guess. Wow. Well, it's worked tonight for you. Congratulations. Apparently. It's an amazing Thank achievement. Thank you very you've much. You've come after a few big names in the past, big lists, lots of money spent, and yeah, maybe you've yeah. done something a little bit different this year, which is I exciting guess, yeah. for the competition. Thank you. So Thank you. thanks very much for Thank talking to much. us. And um, goodbye, everyone. Uh, we're going to go and enjoy some more of the uh, fine wines inside um, and uh, urge you to, first of all, if you're in Sydney, go to Pillow at Freshwater and try the list. And if you're not, then find some Sardinian wine in your local wine shop and give it a crack. I know I will be, I need, I've got a lot to learn there. We've got a lot to learn everywhere, but we may as well start there. So this has been Spit Bucket. Um, we'll let Lara get back to her uh, celebrations and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye. Right, we're back in front of the bright lights of the big city of the Spit Bucket camera. And we've got Tom Hogan, a perennial Spit Bucket favorite. You will remember this. <laughs> Cheeky little grin from other great episodes such as Tiger's Blood. <laughs> what happened in that one? <laughs> Never mind. You can find yeah. it on the website. Apologies out there as well for that one. <laughs> but uh, we have we've we've come outside from the award ceremony. Uh, it's finished. Um, the names have been announced. The finalists were announced. And Tom Lake Hustlesford. Yes. Was a finalist for Wine List of the Year. Australian wine list. Australian wine is the year. Finalist for best country list and a finalist for best Victorian list. Yes. But you didn't get one of the big gongs this year. No, I don't. I, I need. I need to get some sort of like bridesmaid dress. I think to wear to all these awards. <laughs> and tell me, is the injury anything to do with the? Well, the, the worst bit is, is that not only did Royal Mail pip us at basically every post along the way. I also, they're actually responsible for me breaking my hand as well. So it's almost right. sort of the double pain. It's a trifecta <laughs> of disappointment, thanks to the Royal Mail, who we have to say yeah. did a fantastic job. I've got a fantastic job. wine list, incredible wine list. Jeremy's a fantastic sommelier. Uh, great, great restaurant. Go and check it out. But bastards, it's, basically. <laughs> <laughs> it's taken quite a lot for Tom to say that. So, um, but. Going back to Lake House, you've, you have done a, a few things with the list this year. Yep. You've maybe cut down some of the old Bordeaux and Burgundy and brought some more new interesting areas yeah, in. Yeah, absolutely. Fair? Yeah, look, I think we've, uh, last year the Italian list like, represented about half a page. It's now two pages. Yep. And uh, there's a little, certainly a lot, lot more sort of Spanish element in there as well. Uh, while still recognising the fact that uh, the majority of, uh, of our, our customer base uh, you know, love Burgundy and love Victorian uh, wines. So, yep. Uh, so we obviously need to look after our customers, but also expand to the areas that I'm really passionate about as well. If I could uh, give you a hint, Sardinian wine has done very Sardinian well. Sardinian wine. It's done is very that... well with the awards. Pillu oh, is, is a depth of Sardinian wine, okay. so maybe one to think about next year. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I mean, that's obviously the reason why we didn't win any awards tonight, <laughs> as our lack of Sardinian wine. Well, to be honest, I don't know Sardinian wine very well. I have admitted that, but I am going to go out and learn about it tomorrow. Well, uh, yeah, certainly Vermentino is the way to go. So, yeah, yeah. and sardines. <laughs> Vermentino sardines. and sardines. Yeah. Um, well, I think we've taken this little You've humiliated bashing of you yeah. as far as we need to go. Thank you for that, I'm, Dan. I, I love you dearly. You did, you're finalist in Australian Wine of the Year out of seven lists in the country, so you didn't get the big gong, but that's a pretty big rap, isn't it? Yeah, look, we're pretty happy, obviously. And I just want to say, uh, you know, obviously thanks to Gourmet Traveller and all the sponsors and Fine Wine Partners, obviously, and blah, blah, what? blah. Well, I didn't get a chance to actually accept any awards. So I thought that I'd have a... So a here is the acceptance <laughs> speech. The acceptance speech is now, obviously. Well, you've done an excellent job with the sponsors, though. Oh, they will be you. very happy. <laughs> um, and on that note, I'll shake your left hand and say, look forward to seeing you next year at another awards ceremony. <laughs> We're all coming second again, thank you. Possibly coming second <laughs> again. Over and out, spit bucket, going home.
Ciao.